We are following a breaking news story out of Texas. Several people have been seriously injured after a stolen 18-wheeler crashed into a Department of Public Safety building. It happened in a town 75 miles west of Houston. The truck crashed into the building after the driver was being pursued by police officers. That driver has been taken into custody. There's no word yet about why police officers were chasing the truck. Former FBI agent Tim Gallagher joins us now. Uh, thanks so much for being with us, Tim. I know it's the early stages still. What is typical for an initial investigation like this? Sure. As you're saying, it's still early. Uh, details are still still coming in as, as we speak. But, you know, the FBI is going to work uh, hand in hand with, with the local police and state law enforcement authorities on site uh, treating this you're going to treat it as, a, as, a, as an act of terrorism probably until you can prove that it's not, right? You, obviously, it's a criminal act, but what was the intention behind the, 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 the bad actor who drove this truck into the, into the facility, you know, running down uh, any, any known associations that he may have, the, 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 the details behind how this truck was, was stolen and, and that sort of thing. And I'm just looking at the Department of Public Safety website for Texas, and it describes the various kind of um, threats to the public that it helps to protect against. At the top of the list, I'll just read, transnational and statewide gangs, Mexican crime cartel, cartels, international terrorist organizations, domestic terrorist organizations. Tim, uh, I'm wondering, based on that portfolio uh, for the building, this being a Department of Safety building, we obviously have a lot of details still unknown right now. But given that kind of portfolio for that agency, what are the kinds of questions you would have? What would you be looking for? Sure, as, as you ran the gamut, all kinds of criminal uh, criminal investigations are run out of a building such as this. The, clearly, the intent here was to hit a building. Was to hit a building. Whether they they targeted that this this Texas DPS building for a particular reason, too early to tell at, the, at this point. Uh, but, but as you were saying, w w once we find out who this individual is, you know, run his prints, find out like what his background is, who he may be associated with, and then you start building out your case from there to see you know, was this someone uh, who is looking to inflict pain upon the, the Texas DPS for a particular reason, has an axe to grind uh, about law enforcement in general, or about a particular case which, which may be being investigated uh, um, from this barracks. Uh, according to a local state official, this truck was actually stolen, Tim. Does that signal anything to you? I mean, you don't often hear of semi-trucks like that being stolen every day. No, you know, back to, you know, to around 9-11, you know, we were looking at trucks as weapons, right? Even back before that, going back to Oklahoma City, where, you know, we, we had a rental truck, the first World Trade Center attack, a rental truck, to actually have a truck stolen and, and being used as a, as, as a weapon uh, you know, to 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 kill to kill individuals. You know, that's that's not that common. And so you'd be looking to see, like, did did they, were they looking for a particular payload on that truck, something that was really heavy, uh, that would inflict maximum damage or you know potentially be combustible. Uh, but you're right, this is not something that you'd see uh, in, in in your in your normal um, vehicular assault case. And again, for our viewers who maybe are just joining us, a lot of unanswered questions right now uh, as we continue to look at footage there out of Texas where a truck believed to be stolen crashed into a building where the Texas Department of Public Safety at least uh, had some staff. We don't know much more beyond uh, those initial details right now, but we have been talking to former FBI agent Tim Gallagher uh, about what the next steps are, Tim, and so give us a sense forensically what takes place now in a situation like this in terms of gathering evidence, collecting evidence, trying to find out, uh, you know, to get to the bottom of what took place here. Sure, you're looking to eliminate the, the, the threat to public safety, uh, the immediate threat to public safety. That's, that, that, that's, that's job one at this point. So as, as you're able to, to identify this individual, and start building out what his motivations may have been. You you want to start nailing down. You know, could there be anyone else associated with them that that needs to be disrupted at this point, either being brought in for question, or potentially arrested if there's if there's evidence that this individual was acting in concert with with, with other conspirators. All right, a lot of open questions right now. Tim Gallagher, Tim, thanks so much for sharing your insight and expertise with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me on.